People in my line of work don't exactly retire to a nice beach in Cabo. People in my line of work don't exactly retire, period. Usually they end up with a bullet in their head or a train running through their everything. Me, the second one actually did happen to me, but by some miracle I'm alive. And as I was sitting in the jail cell and or hospital bed, nursing back to hell from, again, being hit by a train, it gave me a lot of time to do some reflecting. My golden years as police detective were long behind me. My silver years as private detective quickly fading and tarnishing. I used to think I was real good at both of those, you know? Good at putting together the pieces no one else could, following the trails no one else wanted to. But when I tried figuring out the mystery of what life wanted from me, what life wanted from the people I cared about, life said no. Life said you get no clues. And life laughed and laughed and then pretended to act shocked when all the shit it threw at me resulted in a shattered ribcage and an intense desire to curl into a ball and die. As you can see, however, I am alive. I completed physical therapy. I am on less pain medication, mostly because I wouldn't stop drinking and they eventually threw their hands up and said fine. We told you not to drink booze with the pain medication, but I guess you're gonna have to give one of them up. And I have come to a realization about life. If it's gonna give you nothing, sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. So yeah, people in my line of work don't exactly retire. But this is the closest I'm gonna get. And if it means taking a nap face down on the couch at 3 in the afternoon because you got nothing else to do today, then I don't see the problem with retirement. Ah, oh, goddammit, here we go again.